Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for Saturday the 26th of August 2017. Watchman on the Wall here, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today I have an interesting message. I've been really reflecting on uh, a lot of things today that, um, that I didn't ever reflect on before. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube channels regarding end times uh, watchmen and other people who are trying to get the word out, trying to share their interpretations of scriptures and um, things like that. You know, I read the Bible myself and I let the Lord, Holy Spirit lead me, but at the same time, I'm a human being. And, you know, we all, we all have, um, we're all, you know, we're human, we're not perfect. And so, um, I like to believe that, um, the things that I research in and get from the scriptures are accurate in regards to my teachings. But the reason why I'm, I'm talking like this is because um, another really good sister in Christ posted a video on her interpretation of the Ten Virgins, and it really got me thinking. Now, I am a pre-tribulation person. I believe that we will be out of here before the Great Tribulation. But what this sister Kathy kind of brought to my attention is, you know, are you prepared for tribulation? Just because we're not meant to go through the great tribulation doesn't mean that we aren't going to go through some tribulation. And this is something that should be considered. Now, I'm a person who has a physical disability. I don't really have a lot of physical stamina. The Lord knows all this. And, and I've kind of been maybe trusting too much in the Lord, which I, I don't even think that is... <laughs> You're supposed to put all your trust in the Lord. Um, and I've been at peace. I've been at very good peace. Until I watched this video. And I kind of had a... See, I'm an open-minded and teachable person. When I hear something that I don't necessarily agree with, but it gets me thinking, I'll listen. And I'll listen with great fear fear of the Lord because that's just the way I am because I fear the Lord first and I fear his righteous judgments and every judgment he comes out with is righteous and he's also a God of faith and the thing that she brought up was the oil a lot of people think represents the Holy Spirit and her interpretation is that it's faith and it really truly got me thinking because you know all of the virgins in the parable had a certain amount of oil they didn't have the extra oil. Right? And so she was saying that, you know, in the story, the king tarries or is delayed. And that, in her interpretation, the oil is faith. Do you have enough faith to get you past the point of whatever timeline you're thinking like 
if if things don't go according to how we believe they're going to go, do you have enough faith and courage to go through the next season of trial? Now, I firmly believe the Lord is merciful. He doesn't want us to be here. I mean, we're already going through tribulations, okay? And yeah, we may have first world tribulations in, in in ways, but we are getting spiritual attacked. We're getting attacked online. We're getting a, a lot of things that, you know, we have been going through a lot of pressure, a lot of refining in this final hour. And, um, you know, I, I believe that we are going through a level of tribulation, but, you know, we ain't seen nothing yet. You know, Lord said that birth pangs are going to increase. You know, he didn't say you get some tribulations and then it'll chill out. He specifically said it was going to get harsher and harsher and harsher and harsher. You know, until that day. And, you know, I firmly do not believe in a mid-tribulation rapture. I don't. I am a pre-tribulation all the way, but like I said, I'm teachable and I listen to my elders and I listen to people who who have good insight on things. And it got me thinking about, you know, getting into game shape. You know, I'm, I'm someone who, uh, you know, I feel... Um, has a lot of limitations, you know, um, and if, if I had to go through some situation where, you know, it was, uh, physically demanding, I wouldn't last long. It would be like that movie Zombieland, which I don't recommend watching, but the fat guys die first, and, uh, not only am I a fat guy, but I'm, uh, a fat guy with osteoarthritis, and, um, but this is the thing where the faith, my faith in the Lord has always been solid and I, I haven't felt any fear of the future or uncertainty. But the way she explained it really got me thinking, really got me thinking about being prepared, being prepared. And I'm not, I don't have the money to prep. I'm on a limited income. You know, I'm, I'm very... And I'm not, I don't ask for money, so that's not where this is going. I'm just saying, as far as storing food or water or whatever, the Lord knows I cannot be a proper even if I wanted to. And since I get, uh, um, you know, disability, uh, if they ever implemented the chip in order to get my money, I am officially, you know, um, royally up a creek. Um, and I'd never get the mark. So, yeah, this is something that I didn't think about. I didn't think about until yesterday. And, you know, it is what it is. It's what we do have to contemplate. You know, we can't totally write off. Because we would be stupid if we totally wrote that possibility off. Because we don't know the chronological order of things. We don't. You know, um, and we just know that the birth pangs are happening. They are happening in uh, full gear, okay? And we got to pray for Texas big time. Um, you know, I, I hope and pray that we are out of here sooner rather than later, but we have to really think about long and hard about what the Lord said. You know, and he's he's not a man that he should lie, and he always prepares his his sheep for everything, and he is kind and loving and and uh, and merciful, and so yeah, just something to think about. I'm not trying to do do fear mongering here. It's just. Uh, food for thought. Um, another thing too, 
uh, talking about uh, food, you know, I was thinking about, for me, you know, I'm trying to cut out everything in my life that's of the flesh, because there's a lot of people on here that um, don't believe that they need to repent of anything, that they can just do whatever, and that's that's what you, that's your own walk, okay, everybody needs to uh, do their own thing, um, and have their own walk with the Lord, um, but for me personally, I'm cutting out all sin that I can out of my life, not because of self-righteousness, and, and that's another thing, I get called, well, I don't get called, some people may call um, people who say you should repent, a Pharisee. A Pharisee is someone who did not believe in Jesus Christ, okay, and it was high on their own righteousness. So that term gets thrown around a lot. Pharisees, uh, legalistic people who are relying on their own works for their salvation. If someone is saved and they are repenting of sins, I'm sorry, but that's not a Pharisee. That is not a Pharisee. That is someone who is honoring the word of God, who is repenting from his sins. And so if that makes me a Pharisee, I guess I'm a Pharisee. Because I, I am going to preach repentance here until the day I get taken out of here or I get my head cut off, one or the other. Okay? And that's just the way it is. The Bible says to repent. In the the Revel, in Revelation, six out of the seven churches are told to repent. Okay? Only one church. And all the preachers like to just go to Philadelphia. Oh, we're all Philadelphia. Well, if we were all Philadelphia, there'd only be one letter to one church. Okay? So don't let people deceive you. If you know you got to repent from something and you're not right with the Lord, repent of it. Okay? Anything of the flesh, repent. Not for your salvation, but for His glory. Okay? Just repent. And you should be feeling called to repent of something. If you're not, you may be in reprobate mind territory. You know? So... We all have our own walks. We all have our own path. And my Bible says narrow is the path to salvation. And wide is the path to destruction. So um, I'm going to try to be as repentive as possible every day. Live in a repented spirit. Cut out everything. Cut out any bad language. Cut out anything. Anything that... I can, and I'm not perfect. You know, for me, food is my biggest problem, and the Lord has talked to me today, and I had I had a really good rev revelation about this. You know how the Jewish people are obsessed about a third temple because they think this the Spirit of God is going to come back to the temple. Well, think of this. Every single Christian is a living temple. We are have the Spirit of God indwelling inside our earthen vessels. Just, just comprehend that. Comprehend that we are living temples of God Almighty. So, you know, who wants to go worship in a temple full of garbage? You know? Right? So, this is what I'm... The Lord is putting on my spirit to cut out things... For his indwelling Holy Spirit. Out of respect and love. You know? So, you know, if you uh, if you don't feel like doing it, you don't... It's up to you. I'm not here to judge or condemn any of you guys at all. The opposite. I'm here to tell you the truth and love. What the Bible says. And it's up to you and the Holy Spirit to do the rest. And I don't have any blood on my hands, okay? So, if I'm a Pharisee because I'm preaching repentance, so be it. So anyways, that's today's uh, message. Um, I really want you guys, if you haven't, you're hearing this message and you are not 
saved, please come to the Lord. Romans uh, 10. Come and ch- check out all the Romans. Romans chapter 10. Just go through the whole thing. Uh, or chapter 9, verse 10. Uh, just read Romans. Okay. Um, uh, just ask for the Lord to come into your heart. Ask for salvation. And do it right away. We are... You know, and, and I feel like at this point... Uh, we really need to to do this. Like, if there's one thing other Watchmen, you know, kind of, you know, prick my heart about is not saying this enough. And it's true. Um, every message should be bringing people to the Lord. And sometimes I do my message and I don't, I don't do this. And it's not right because... You know, we are in the final hour, and if you haven't come to the Lord, please do so. Every single person who calls on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. If you believe, confess with your mouth, and believe in your heart that Jesus died and raised again, you will be saved. So please do that today. And if you guys are already saved... Please ask the Holy Spirit to lead you into anything that is of the flesh. You know, the the sufferings of this world cannot compare to the next, to, you know, the next life and everlasting life. Okay, so let's let's focus on on doing whatever we can to to be healthy, to be at peace but also to really prepare. And the way we prepare is we read the scriptures and we get into the word and we understand, you know, and don't rely on other people. Don't rely on me. Don't rely on anybody else. Rely on the Bible. Rely on the Bible, okay? And the Holy Spirit. You cannot read the Bible and understand it without the Holy Spirit of promise. Okay, so please ask for the Lord Jesus into your heart, confess with your mouth, and then get into the Word, okay? Please, please, please do that. So thanks, guys, for checking out this message. If I don't see you in the class tonight, I'll have another message for you very soon. Peace be with you.